What's up guys? Here I have a 1996 Patton U220P. Um, this fan is not a new fan I got from eBay. I've had this fan since I believe April was when I got this fan. Um, the reason why I'm not, I have not made, um, a, a tour video or demo video of this fan at all yet. I've not gotten the chance to make one of this fan yet. But today's the day for that. Um, I have made several videos of it in the past though. I've made a kilowatt test in of this video. I've made my first run video of it too. My unboxing video, that's all up on there. And startup sounds, those are all up on there on my channel. So if you have not seen those, go ahead and check those out. Anyways, here's the tour. Um, if you guys have seen this fan, you already know that this fan I got new in the box, amazing condition. Um, obviously, it's got the blue badge, original shiny. The blades have not gotten a single scratch, as you can see. It's an amazing condition. Super heavy, too. That just shows I don't think this fan has not been used at all. Ever been used. The cage looks perfect. I don't think it's ever been messed up at all, which is great. See, everything's all in there. Shiny, still very shiny. It's been sitting in my living room for several months, five months, I'd say at least, without being used. It's in amazing condition, brand new. So, um, fan's really heavy, so let me try and show you the back of it if you've not seen it. It's a very heavy fan. I'd say it's probably my heaviest patent floor fan that I have. The drum fan that I have is probably heavier than this. I need to make a video of that fan. But that fan is severely out of balance, so I don't know how well that would work. And it's super hard to carry out of my house. I mean, this is just an example. But anyways, um, here's the knob. Obviously, the knob is original. It's super, it's sticked on there, which means that it's in good condition. Um, Here's the motor, it's got a 2.7 amp McMillan motor. You can tell there's no dust. Even now, it, there's no dust at all in the windings. Bearings look like it's been well taken care of too. I don't think this fan has ever been used, and if it did, it would have been just once for a short period of time. Got black cord. Um, on the 20 inch blue patents, a lot of times, usually the cords are black, usually, I notice. But if you go for like the 18A7s, the 14A7s, or the 1287s of the blue patents, they're a lot of times gray or white. So, uh, let me show you the cord real quick, actually. I think it's got the same cord as the, is my Ant's 1996 Patent U220, which is obviously now my fan too. But as you can see, it's got the gold, it's got the gold prongs. Um, I guess for the 20 inch, they probably went for the gold, which I like. I thought it was just because of age, because of how much they've aged. But it makes so much sense because some of them are silver and this one's gold. Just like my U220. And I thought it was just because it aged. I mean, yeah. So, so yeah, it's a three speed fan. So let me set this down and put it into place where it was originally. plug it in very heavy fan very heavy and I'm just gonna warn you it is heavy I'll ever recommend anyone ever just carrying it for workout I mean if you want to do heavy workout this could be a prime example let me there I think I got a good view of it all right um this is gonna be super loud so I'm gonna start up from high right now. Here it goes. There it goes. She shoots super loud, but it does move the air. It really does, which is nice. It really does move the air. So, go down to medium. Because of how much air and how loud it is, I kind of want to just get this one over with. But yeah, 
It's in really great condition, as you already can tell. Nothing really has changed with this fan since I've had it. Because obviously, I take really good care of these. So, yeah. So yeah, it's still not much different, but still blows a lot, a lot of air on a lot of speed. So, yeah. So now here it goes down to low. Still, it's not too bad on low, not bad at all, and it still blows a lot of air, a lot, which is really nice. It's obviously a really good fan, as you can really tell. I mean, it's still a pretty loud fan, no matter what. Even on low, it's still got quite a bit of noise, but it sure moves the air. However, TPI is still much, is much louder than this, no matter which one. Even, I think even the 12 inch, TPIs are much louder than this. I should get a TPI and then I could do a comparison with this versus like a 24 inch, 18 inch, or 12 inch. So here it goes back up to medium. Very loud. All right, back to high. All right, now off it goes. It's got a pretty loud, not loud, long spin down, but still blows a lot of air. I'm sorry I hear, sorry you hear leaf blowers. It's falling, you know. It's got a good long spin down, not bad at all. Really not bad at all. So yeah, I'm, um, I would say probably out of my patent models from the floor fans, this is probably no doubt my strongest patent and it's definitely the loudest not including like vibration noises and all that like just motor wise in general this fan i'm sure is no doubt the loudest out of all my patents and it probably is the strongest too even stronger than my drum fan so i'm not sure about the pedestal versions i mean it might be stronger than this because obviously it's hell a lot bigger than this it's like 30 inches versus this is the 20 inch but aside from that yeah um maybe one day i can make a video of a pedestal fan but at the moment i don't know where i could find them anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed the tour video of this fan stay tuned for the demo video because that will be coming up next thanks for watching i'll see you guys later